All right, so it's 2024 and I'm finally excited about 3D printing again. And this thing's the major reason why. And I also think that this is the major reason why this year is the perfect year for really anyone to get into 3D printing. So in this case, the name of the channel really says it all. I'm a high school technology teacher and I've been doing that for about 10 years now. And over that period of time, I've gotten a lot of experience with 3D printing. And to be honest, it's been pretty much a love-hate relationship. On one hand, it's been one of the best tools that I've been able to have to help educate students and prototype things and design things and make things that didn't exist and go from nothing into something. And it's also been a really amazing tool for me, like in my personal projects, in helping me solve problems that I have and, and be able to make things that don't exist and, and be able to have that freedom to, to design things myself. But on the other hand, like 3D printing and the hobby is, has been far from perfect. There have been tons of struggles. And here at school, it really hasn't mattered whether we've bought some of the more expensive printers or we, when we transition to a fleet of much cheaper printers, uh, the, the struggles were still there. We just paid more money for some of those other printers um, is kind of what it seemed like. And so it was over the last 10 years, it's, it's been kind of frustrating and I've been down on 3D printing, but it all changed this year when my school was able to invest in this printer right here. Uh, this is the Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon. And for me, this is the thing that kind of told me like the game has changed. Now is the time that we can get into 3D printing. It's made me excited about it again. And that's what's made me wanted to make this video for you guys. So before I go crazy into talking about this and why this thing's so awesome and it's really gotten me back into 3D printing, I just wanna say that I don't think this is the only reason why this year is a great year for really anybody to get into 3D printing. This really only represents the last piece in the puzzle. Um, all of the struggles over the last 15-ish years in consumer 3D printing has led up to this point. We have an amazing community of people that have solved problems, those early adopters. Those people struggled through and they solved problems and they documented stuff. A quick Google search or a YouTube video really can solve a lot of your problems if you're having those. So having that community, community and those people that solved the problems before us puts us in a great spot. The other thing is the amount of resources that are available online for things to print. Um, you don't have to be a person that can 3D model and make things or scan things. There are people who upload stuff for free or for very reasonable prices, people who are selling things on Etsy, who have really started their own complete businesses with 3D printing, selling either the 3D printable files or starting businesses using printers, something like this. Um, but long story short, there are so many resources online of things that you can print that are actually useful. I think a lot of people gave 3D printing a bad name early on where you can just print like little trinkets and little boats, even if my son loves them a ton, or useless engine blocks to sit on your desk. There are so many useful resources out there. I have a bunch of them that I use to organize my stuff. And, and, and there are real world objects that you can print that are actually useful and make this thing more than just a toy maker. It's, it's actually a usable thing. Uh, whether you're a traditional woodworker or you're a DIY person that likes making things, um, somebody who, who just wants better organization or whatever the reason, there are so many reasons why right now is a good time to get into 3D printing. That being said, Bamboo Labs is kind of the company that took it to the next level and made this series of printers. This happens to be the Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon uh, with the AMS kit on top of it. And I'll be honest with you and upfront, uh, this is a sponsored video by Bamboo Labs. I reached out to them. So after I used the X1 Carbon that my school purchased at the beginning of this school year, so we had a, at about a six month period of time to use it. It changed the way that I teach 3D printing to my students. It changed like my outlook on 3D printing. It got me back into the hobby again. Like I was so excited about 3D printing again that I reached out to Bamboo Labs and said, hey man, can you sponsor this video? Uh, I'd love to bring this, like I'm excited about it. I wanna bring this to my channel because I really think this is something that like more people can get into and, and this is the year to 3D print. I was excited about it. And so they gladly sponsored it. Um, but I'll be honest with you, even if they wouldn't have sent me this printer, I probably would have bought one anyway. And I wouldn't feel too bad for Bamboo Labs because they're definitely getting their money. Uh, if you take a look over my shoulder, all the, all the filament that I'm going through and buying, they're definitely getting their, their cut out of this whole thing. Okay, but what makes this thing so great? I mean, because honestly, when we're looking at this, the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon, uh, roughly right now with the AMS and everything that we got going here is about $1,500. So what makes this worth what it, what it costs and what makes it the printer that allows everybody to get into 3D printing? Well, in my experience, it boils down to a lot of different things. 
but number one, it has basically solved all the problems that I've ever had with 3D printing. First off, off the bat, and just made me think about 3D printing in a different way and just love getting back into it. Um, but really, kind of the first thing is like, in the way that I would describe this, is it's the iPhone of 3D printers. It just works and it's reliable. Um, it, it, I mean, when you honestly, when you look at it from the outside, it just portrays something that's nice. It's got this aluminum feeling panel. Um, you can clearly tell that there's a lot of technology going on here. Quality glass materials in, 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 that, in that glass door there. Um, and it just looks nice, okay? But more than that is what's packed inside of this thing. And if we start off with the, with the LCD screen there, uh, tons of technology, easy to use. It feels like the user interface on the phones that we're used to using every single day. It's easy to navigate. If there's anything that you have to do or set up with this 3D printer, it goes through this LCD screen. There's QR codes that link to YouTube videos that take you to, to show you how to do anything and everything that you need to do with this. Also, this printer is moving towards like just pressing print and it working and that level of reliability. And I think a lot of that is, is in my experience and what I've seen so far is the technology that's packed into this thing. Uh, first off, the thing that you notice the most is the cameras. There's camera systems in here. There might be multiple cameras, I'm not sure, but at least there's one that serves a small purpose in monitoring your prints. So it sends a video feed out to either your phone, the computer that it's hooked up to, the app, or whatever that you have it hooked up to, and you can monitor your prints. You can watch those prints, you can record uh, time lapses of those prints. And so that's just kind of a really kind of cool thing. But then diving deeper into the technology and what really makes this printer awesome is all the stuff that it does that you don't have to do. Um, starting off with the calibration, like every time after you press print, it does a calibration and it calibrates itself, shaking itself in different frequencies. And it seems like it's looking for uh, slop or play in any of the axes so that it can adjust and kind of compensate in case it needs to. The other thing that it does great is bed leveling. This has an auto bed leveling, but it doesn't just check in like the four or five different locations that other printers have checked. Like this thing is checking in a bunch of different places all over the build plate to make sure that it is really flat or that it adjusts for any inconsistencies to help make your print a whole lot better. The other thing that it does is it prints like a test print on the front of the bed and then goes over top of it and scans it to make sure that what was printed was what was supposed to be printed or at least in that tolerance so the printer knows that if it's extruding plastic correctly or not and it can make changes or have you do something so that you can fix it before it actually starts printing. Also the printer has built-in systems or AI that are constantly monitoring your print looking for defects or imperfections. So after the first layer is done, it'll scan over to the top of the first layer and check to see if it's extruding too much, too little, or the right amount of plastic. If it meets the tolerant within tolerances, it moves on and keeps printing. And then as your print is going, it's constantly looking for like spaghetti detection. One of the most common problems that we have with 3D printing is when that printer tries to print out in thin air and there's nothing to print to and it just kind of spews out plastic and it looks like spaghetti. It's looking for that and if it thinks that it detects that, it can send a notification to your phone or it can automatically stop the print, which is really nice. Saves you from wasting plastic and just makes you work more efficiently and you can fix the problem right then and there. And then the last thing that's kind of impressed me in that department is the quality and the speed. Normally with 3D printing, if you increase the speed, the quality goes down and vice versa the other direction. This thing represents a jump in the printers that I've been able to use. Not only are the prints getting done faster, but they're getting done higher quality as well. And so it seems like a win-win in both of those departments, making it even more fun to use. Then moving to the outside of the printer, we have the AMS and the actual spools themselves. Uh, these things are freaking awesome and, and what they've been able to do with this. So not only do we have this AMS up here that is used to hold diff four different rolls of filament, uh, that enables us to print four different colors, which is all cool in itself. Um, you can buy up to three more of these AMS things to have a total of four, and you can print a total of 16 different colors. I will say that as you add color to the print, it does increase the amount of time because there's only one extruder nozzle on this printer. So every time it, it wants to print, it needs to print a different color. It's retracting the old color out or the previous color out and then putting that new color in. And when you do that, you're introducing what they call poop into the whole mix. So you have all of this leftover plastic that is put out of here. 
So I would say that that's one negative of the whole thing. Um, there are other printers out there, like I saw something from Prusa that also that has like a tool head changing printer. So each tool head or each hot end has a different color that comes out of it. So that might be an, a newer, interesting way to solve this problem. But this is a small price to pay, I think, for the ability to use multiple colors and do that whole thing. Along with just being able to print multiple colors, this AMS is awesome because it has, you can put like the silica packets and different things in here so that you can actually help store your filament while you're using it. One of the huge disadvantages of normal 3D printers is you have that, that filament roll that's hanging on the back of the printer and that roll is just absorbing moisture and uh, basically the longer you keep that roll on the printer and not stored correctly, the, the worse that printer in theory is gonna print. This helps alleviate that problem by keeping these in kind of a nice, pretty darn airtight area, keeping that filament dry longer and helping you save plastic and yet again, helping those prints come out better. Then the actual rolls or spools themselves that go into the printer, they've, they've come up with something for these too. So these are reusable spools. Uh, they come apart and they disattach uh, so that when you're done printing with them, you can just take them apart and you can order refills. You can reload those refills on there, put the spool back together, and then you're good to go. From a person like me at school, where we go through, I, I don't know, 50 rolls, 50 uh, spools a year, something like that, like, what do you do with those old spools? They just sit there and they, they pile up and we end up giving them to the art teachers or something, I, I don't know, but they just, they pile up and that's not something that I want at home. And, and then especially, you know, the day and age that we're at being more sustain sustainable and saving the environment and all that stuff is really important. So it's really cool that they went that route and they made reusable spools. It also will save you a little bit of money because I think what they do is they subtract the, the price of what the actual plastic spool costs. They take that out of the equation and so you can buy the refills a little bit cheaper. And then another cool thing about these spools is they have RFID tags built right into them. So when you order plastic, like example, PLA Basic is, is the plastic that I had on these, when you load these spools into the AMS, it'll automatically be able to detect that RFID. They'll know exactly that I'm loading that PLA Basic in here. And then I believe there's a sensor in the front of this that detects the color. So between the two of them, it knows the type of plastic and it knows the color. It communicates that to the LCD screen to the slicer that's on your computer if you have it connected via Wi-Fi, and it also sends it to your phone so that in all of these different places, you know what's in this printer, what you have to use, the printer knows what's going on, it's communicating with everything else. Like, it just makes sense and solves some of those problems that we've had before or other things that you had to do and you had to get right um, because printing, like with this plastic, melting temperatures and bed temperatures and different things like that are very crucial based on the, the, the material that you're using. Sometimes two or three degrees in one direction can make all the difference in the world. With this, Bamboo Labs has custom settings, um, preset settings that are already set for you that are, that are um, set in the slicer, but then it can talk to this so it knows what's plastic. It just makes sense, which is awesome. Then the last thing with the AMS that I thought has been so awesome is not only can you print multiple colors, but you have like an auto refill setting. So if you know that one of your spools is running low, you can load that same color into another one of the units in there and there's a little setting that you have to check. But as soon as this one runs out, it doesn't stop your print or whatever. It just automatically switches over to that color on a different spool and continues going. Um, there have been so many times at school and or printing at home when you forget about how much you have in there or how much plastic you're gonna be using and you press print and then it stops halfway through. And some of these printers have like pauses where you can pause the print at certain heights and you can continue going if the power runs out. This one probably has that and you can resume a print if you run out of plastic. But in my experience, it, it never has been the same. Like whatever layer you leave off on is, is less strong because the plastic doesn't adhere to it as well and you have issues, that is pretty much eliminated with this style of, of AMS and, and the way that it prints. Then the last category that I wanna highlight is the software, and Bamboo Labs has their own slicer software that's called Bamboo Studio. They also have an app called Bamboo Handy, I believe, and then the two of those pieces of software combined with the tech that's in here, and then the way that they sync up together is, is really awesome. I've never had a printing over Wi-Fi experience work as well as this. Um, you can be over at the slicing software using that sync the filament with that slicing software so you know exactly what you have to work with. Um, the slicing software itself is really, really easy to use. 
If you're using something like Cura, it takes a second to figure out the different layouts of everything. And I'll be honest with you, when you get into to the, the Bamboo Lab Slicer, they give you more options right out of the gate. So it might seem a little bit of intimidating because you have so many more numbers and things that are on there. But they have presets for everything built into there. So for all of the plastic they sell on their website, they have presets for everything, and it takes a lot of the thinking out of it. You don't have to dial in material settings. I found that the support structure settings that they have built into their slicer work so much better than a lot of the other ones that I've seen other places or used different places, and that support structure just breaks right off. So the stuff that they have built into that slicer just works great. The multicolor aspect of it works awesome. It's so easy to go in and change different parts into different colors. You can paint different colors onto different faces. It's, it's really cool on how they've done that, and I've really enjoyed that experience so far. Yet again, somebody actually talking to somebody that uses this stuff all the time, uh, they've listened and they've made those changes, and it's a nice piece of software. Um, then the app that you have on your phone, works really well as, as well. Um, you can monitor your prints from everywhere. You can start prints, you can stop prints. Um, it, it's really cool just to have that ability to monitor those prints and check on them and seeing what's going on with your printer. Because I'll be honest with you, like I'm still living in the days where I have like PTSD uh, from like 10 or 15 hour prints. Now I'm doing stuff like this one that's on here right now was like a 22 hour print the way that I had it set up. Like daring to print something that long before was really, really scary. Now I can monitor it. It keeps me like, you know, just under control and happy that, that I think that it's going to work and that I can check on it as it's going. And then along with all of this, Bamboo Labs has a really cool community that's kind of built into this where they have their own place that you can go and upload models and find different models and share things. And that's all built into kind of their website, uh, their Slicer Studio, their app. And so it's kind of cool how all that's kind of connected all in one as well. So for me, that kind of summarizes why this thing is awesome and why this printer really got me back into 3D printing. I mean, I never really stopped like I alluded to, uh, but this thing kind of really showed me like how much I like it and, and made me want to get back into it and use 3D printing more. Um, and, and it really kind of was that self-check moment like, wow, this thing is out there and it's real and it's made this whole 3D printing process so easy that I think anybody can get into it. We're not just talking about the people who want to invest all their time and change settings and tinker and learn and do things like it's for everybody now. And hopefully that came across in the video. Um, I'm curious to hear what you guys have to think about this. Uh, I'd love to hear your story and like who you are and what you think potentially 3D printing could offer to you, whether you're a traditional woodworking person or a DIYer kind of like me, or you're that techie person that wants to get in there and change all the settings and do all kinds of stuff. Um, or just the general person who has no experience and landed on this video for whatever reason. Like, I'd love to hear down in the description what your thoughts are on this. If you're somebody who's ever used one of these before, I know that I've only begun to scratch the surface on using this. I'm only about eight months into it, and I know there's so much more stuff that I can do with this. I definitely want to buy more AMS units and go more colors. Um, I am crazy like interested in what Bamboo Labs is going to do next because if this, this is what they have now, they've got to be working on something better. All these other printer, printing companies like Perusa with their five, I think it's five, tool head changer printer. Like, There's all kinds of cool stuff that's going to be happening here with 3D printing. I think it's only going to get better. I think the dream of everybody owning a 3D printer at their house is something that potentially might you know happen. And I know I'm a tech technology teacher and I love kind of thinking ahead and what's coming up next and, and that's what I teach and love. Um, but I'd love to see how this works out and love to hear what you guys say. Um, if you enjoyed this or got anything out of this, please hit thumbs up because that definitely helps the channel. Um, let me know what else you want to think or want to see in here. Um, if you want to see my workflow and like how I go from sketches to, to 3D modeling things and actually printing things or what I'm doing with this thing in the future, because uh, this thing's going to get a lot of work. Let me know if you want to see what, what type of video uh, with 3D printing you, you might like to see as well. Um, but that, I think, is, is where we're at. 3D printing, I think, is now in 2024 for everybody. And at the, the end of the day, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope to see you guys in another video.